Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. This is episode 9 of my hand tied jig series, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a micro crappie jig. So let's get started. So the whole point of this jig is to downsize. So the jig head I'm using today is a 132nd ounce jig head with a number 6 hook and I painted it with some Protec Disco Silver paint and put some dark blue eyes on the side. So as always, the first step is to put a little bit of super glue on the hook. I'm just going to put enough to go down about even with the point of the hook. Next I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it from the head all the way down to the point of the hook. The thread I'm using today is Danville's 210 denier flat wax nylon. Next, I'm just going to cut the tag into the thread and take a small piece of paper towel and dab up any extra super glue that may be left over. For the tail for this jig, I'm just going to be using a white marabou feather. As you can see, compared to the jig, it's pretty large, so we're going to have to downsize it a lot to get it to the right size. We want the feather to be about the length of the hook, so something like this should work. So once I have my feather sized up properly, I'm going to take it and lay it down under the hook and start wrapping thread pretty tightly around this feather to tie it into the hook and make sure it's tightened down. So this actually looks just about right. This is exactly what you want for it to be proportional in the end. So now I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it all the way up to the head of the jig to tightly tie in the feather to the jig. After that, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the feather off as close to the jig as I can. Since this jig is super small, we don't have too much leeway for materials. The flash I'm going to be using for this jig is some dark blue crystal flash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one full strand of this flash, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to take that strand and cut it in half again. That way I can have two pieces of flash on either side of the jig, just like this. Now I'm just going to take my thread and start wrapping down the jig and hold both strands of the flash on either side, just like this, so that they're even on both sides of the jig. I'm just going to take my thread and wrap all the way down where I've tied everything else and go back up to the head. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and trim the flash just a little bit past the feathers, just like that. There we go, this thing is really starting to come together now. The chenille I'm going to be using for this jig is some blue thunder custom chenille. So I'm just going to take it and lay it on the jig and use the thread to start wrapping the chenille into the jig. I like to turn the jig sideways here just so I can wrap down to where I've wrapped everything else and be able to see it effectively. So now is my favorite part. I'm just going to start slowly rotating the chenille up towards the head of the jig. I'm going to wrap it really slowly and make sure to layer it. That way it has a nice uniform appearance all the way up to the head. So there we go. That right there should work. So now I'm just going to take my thread and go up underneath the chenille and wrap it into the jig. I'm going to do a few wraps on either side over and under just to make sure the chenille is wrapped tightly into the jig. Once I've done that, now I just have to take my scissors and cut off the chenille and pull out any fuzzy bits that want to stay behind. Now it's time to double whip finish. So I'm going to take my whip finishing tool and do four or five wraps around this first time right here. I want to do these nice and tight and once I've got that done, I'm just going to take it and pull it tight just like that. Then I'm going to take my whip finishing tool and do another four or five wraps and pull that tight at the end as well, just like that. And now I just got to take my scissors and cut off the thread and there you have it, a micro crappie jig. So now all that's left to do is to bag these jigs up, put a sticker on the bag, and now these things are ready to get out and catch some fish. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you're interested in checking these jigs out for yourself, head over to our Facebook page by clicking the link in the description and make yourself an order. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Hand Tied Jigs.